G'day there, guys. Stephen Russo here, and welcome to the first episode of Rugby League Chic, a new web series in which I take an in-depth look at some of the most iconic and not-so-iconic rugby league jerseys. Now, seeing as this is our first episode, I'm going to start with a real banger. The 1983 Balmain Tigers Saxon Vale jersey. Now, one of the first things I think you'll notice about this jersey is is the New South Wales Rugby Football League patch. Yes, that's right. It's NSWRFL, not NSWRL. This is a patch that was only used on jerseys mainly between 1983 and 1984. So this jersey is a bit of a rarity in that regard. Now, this jersey is, of course, made by Westmont, one of the most iconic manufacturers in the history of rugby league jerseys. Uh, Westmont were a powerhouse in the mid to late 70s, early 80s. And while they had a long uh, kind of relationship with Balmain, they first appeared on a Balmain jersey back in 1977. This is in fact the last jersey Westmont made for Balmain, as in 1984, the Tigers shifted to Canterbury of New Zealand. Now, the interesting thing about Balmain in 1983 they essentially had about four variants of their jersey. The first one was a clean skin. They basically lost their major sponsor, Sharp, at the end of 1982. And they didn't get a major sponsor until heading into their round three game against Cronulla. And that, that was, of course, Saxonvale, which was co-owned by Gil McDougall, a former Balmain player, and, of course, the father of Luke, Ben, and Adam McDougall. Now, there are about three variants of the Balmain jersey with the Saxon Vale logo. There was the first one, which was used in a photo shoot. It had white text. It was really hard to see. So by the time Balmain ran onto the field, they were wearing Saxon Vale jerseys with black lettering. Initially, Saxon Vale wines appeared in full on the front. However, this was soon changed. And for the majority of the season, they wore just Saxon Vale on the front and Saxon Vale wines on the back. This has obviously got number 23 on the back. That's a reserve grade back rowers jersey. That said, it may have seen first grade action. A player could have come on as a replacement, or there might have been a late team change. You never know. Either way, it's a killer shirt. Thank you for watching the first episode of Rugby League Chic. Hope you enjoyed it. There'll be plenty more coming up in the near future. Also, a quick shout out to League Tees. They've provided me with this awesome shirt, KB Cup. You can buy it at leaguetees.com. And if you have any suggestions as to jerseys you'd like to see, just drop us a comment or send us an email. I'll put all the details in the section below. Catch you later.